Hello class, this is Mr. Lucero and we're going to start a new journey. You're the number four good friends and we start on pages 56 and 57. So the idea is to talk about good friends. So and you can see the picture and the picture you can see two friends. And we suppose they're good friends because they're very happy. Okay, so remember good friends are this kind of person that always help you or listens to you or do some things without a, re uh, a reward okay now i have a question who's your friend or, or i can change the word who's your best friend in your classroom who's your best friend at school who's your best friend at your neighborhood so you can tell them in the class and you can answer them okay now let's continue here here we're going to start this a uh, this activity vocabulary number one on page 58 but first of all we're going to see the pictures without looking at the vocabulary so we're going to guess. That's my idea, to guess. For example, on picture number one, what can you see on picture number one? Well, mister, there are two girls and maybe there is one girl's birthday and they are giving a present. Okay. What about number two? Also, there are two girls and they are pointing their fingers. Ah, perfect. What about number three? In number three, there is a girl, but there is something different. She's putting his shoes, sorry, she's putting her shoes out of the house. Hmm? Her shoes out of the house. Number four, it seems like a class, there is a little boy and there is a teacher. And they're shaking hands, not shaking, like, good job, carry on like this. Mm -hmm. In number five, what can you see? Okay, there is a girl listening to music. It's like following the sound or the swing, no? Like, what about number six? No, in number six, there, there are two girls and one boy, but it seems like they are arguing, they are like, angry, kind of angry because of something. We don't know about that, but it seems to us. Now, let's see. Let's see our vocabulary. Vocabulary number one, and the topic is making friends. Activity number one, match six of the phrases to the pictures. So here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There are twelve phrases, but we need just six. And we need to match them with our pictures. Now let's see. Let's practice. Listen and repeat. Arrive early. Be late. Be polite. Be rude. Bring a present. Interrupt a conversation. Jump a line, point at someone, shake hands, snap your fingers, take off your shoes, tell jokes. Okay, now let's see. The idea is match six of the phrases with the pictures. Let's see number one. What can you see in number one? Okay, let's see. A present. Yeah, it's a possibility, no? Uh, what is that? Mm, bring a present. So number one is bring, sorry, bring a present. Okay, bring. What about number two? Two ladies pointing, pointing. Aha, point at someone. Excellent, this is number two. Number three. The girl 
put the choose outside the house. Choose outside. Choose. Aha. Take off her shoes. Aha. This is number three. Number four. A little boy could be a student and this girl could be the teacher. Maybe saying good job. No, and shaking hands. Shaking. Aha. Uh -huh. Hands. Shake hands. Excellent. That is number four. Number five. There is a girl listening to music. But it's like following the music, like yes, fingers, snap your fingers. And the last one, what about number six? Number six, what about number six? I say hungry, but there is nothing with hungry. Mm -hmm -hmm. Be road. Okay, be road is like a very, very strong. When you talk, hey, you, hey, what's up, man? Hey, like that, not be rude. Okay. Let's continue with the activity. A, we, get, we listen a repeat. Now, which of the, of the action in activity one have you done today? Uh -huh. For example, for the teacher, which of the actions in activity one have the teacher done today? Has the teacher done today? Okay, arrive early? No. Okay, ladies, boys, for example, today is Sunday. I'm recording this video on Sunday. And for me, Sunday, I sleep until 8 or 9. So, arrive early for breakfast? No. Be late? Okay. Be polite, of course. Polite is like educado. Okay, be polite. Be rude? No. Bring a present? Today, no, but yesterday, yes. I, I brought some roses to my wife. Interrupt a conversation? No. Jump a line? Jump a line is like when you, you uh, don't respect the line. You are in the bank, for example, and you don't respect it and you want to be the first. No, no, no. Point at someone? No. Shake hands? Yes. Snap your fingers, of course, when I listen to music. Take off your shoes, no. Tell jokes, not today, but I like to. Okay, so in class you're going to tell me about this. What of these activities you've done that day? Now let's continue with number uh, four. In number four, says choose the correct word. Okay, we have one two, three different uh, phrases that can help this, uh, this uh, phrase. For example, I was late, I interrupt their conversation, or I kiss my mother because I woke up late. I woke up late. Ah, I woke up late, I was late. No, it's kind of, there is a relation. Okay, that is the answer. I was late. Because I woke up late. He asked me to tell a joke. He asked me to take off my shoes. Or he asked me to jump the line because they were dirty. Dirty. Uh huh. Okay, okay. So when when I have my shoes or running shoes dirty, my mom said, put it away. Okay, or take off. No? So. I asked me, sorry, he asked me to take off my shoes because they were dirty. Let us see, I arrived early, I shook hands with, I was rude with, sorry, I was rude to Lionel Messi. He was really friendly. So, what is the possible answer? Okay. I arrived early, he was, uh, arrive, I arrived early, Lionel Messi, no, I was rude with Lionel Messi, oh, impossible, I shook hands with Lionel Messi, he was really friendly, so this is the answer, shook hands, I told a joke, letter D, I took off my shoes, or I clicked my fingers, but nobody laughed. Excellent. 
told a joke, joke, chiste, broma, no? And nobody laughed. E. He was late. He brought a present. He arrived early, so he helped us cook dinner. He arrived early. Okay, arrived early. F. My teachers were talking, so I couldn't take off my shoes, be polite, interrupt their conversation. Of course, when somebody is speaking or talking to someone else, it's not polite to interrupt their conversation. G. Don't tell a joke too. Don't snap your fingers at. Don't shake hands with the waiter. It's very rude. For example, I remember, I remember one day I was eating in a restaurant with some friends, and one of my friends was like, "Well, nobody, nobody is here. Where is the waiter?" So, hey, waiter, and it's it looks like terrible for someone to say like, no, to snap your fingers. No, so it's rude. So the answer is snap your fingers. The dead H. He jumped the line. He told a joke. He pointed at her because he wanted to get on the bus first. No, sometimes, for example, in Lima, in the in Lima city, like the capital, Lima capital city, when you want to be to get in the bus, sometimes there is a lot of people waiting for the bus, but in some cases, some people try to jump the line, I told you. In Spanish, it's like colarse, no? Se coló en la línea, se coló en la fila, hey, psh. It's like that. Okay, class, this has been our video for this vocabulary. Hope you like it. Practice. Thank you.